In medieval times, morals and laws had a profound influence on daily life. One of the acts that received the most scrutiny was adultery, and the consequences were often severe. Join us as we explore how adultery was punished in the Middle Ages, an era when social and religious norms were unbreakable. 1. Ecclesiastical and Secular Laws In the Middle Ages, adultery was considered a grave sin from both a religious and secular perspective. The Catholic Church played a fundamental role in society and had its own jurisprudence. In addition, secular laws also criminalized adultery because of its impact on social stability and political alliances. The combination of ecclesiastical and secular laws often led to harsher punishments. 2. Evidence and Accusations Accusations of adultery required solid evidence to support them. In many cases, eyewitnesses or compelling evidence was needed to prove guilt. However, evidence was not always necessary, as suspicion or rumor was often enough for the authorities to act. 3. The Consequences Consequences for adultery varied by region and time. Some punishments included financial fines that could be paid by the offender or his family. In more serious cases, social ostracism was imposed, where the individual was excluded from the community. Physical punishments such as flogging or branding were also common. In some places, adultery could lead to the death penalty, especially if it involved persons of high social standing. 4. Impact on Daily Life the fear of punishment for adultery had a profound impact on people's daily lives in the Middle Ages. Couples may have been reluctant to interact in public for fear of accusations. Adultery also affected family relations and inheritance, since a child born out of wedlock could be excluded from property and rights. This preoccupation with punishment influenced decisions and the way people interacted with each other. 5. The Position of the Woman In most medieval societies, women had fewer rights and power than men. In cases of adultery, women often faced harsher punishments than men. This reflected the idea that women should be controlled to preserve the honor and reputation of their families. 6. The Role of the Church the church played a central role in regulating morality and daily life in the Middle Ages. Religious leaders closely monitored the behavior of the community and applied punishments according to religious teachings. Adultery was considered a grave sin that could lead to eternal damnation, which increased the fear of punishment. 7. Public Punishments In some cases, the punishment for adultery was carried out publicly as a warning to others. Offenders could be exhibited in the town square, flogged or even executed before an audience. These public acts of punishment served as a reminder of the power of the authorities and the importance of complying with established rules. 8. Cultural and Social Context it is essential to remember that attitudes and norms vary according to place and time in the Middle Ages. In some societies, adultery was considered less serious than in others. In addition, social class and status also influenced how punishments were applied. For example, nobles often had more leverage to avoid severe punishments. 9. Changes over time As the Middle Ages progressed, attitudes toward adultery began to evolve. Over time, societies began to focus more on political and economic alliances than on moral control. This led to a change in the ways adultery was dealt with and punishments were applied. 10. Influence of the Nobility and the Church In many cases, the nobility and the church had significant control over the application of punishments for adultery. Occasionally, offenders from the nobility could avoid harsher punishments due to their social status and political connections. 
The church also exercised influence over the public perception of adultery and often sought to maintain the image of morality in society. 11. Social Stigmatization Adultery not only carried legal punishments, it also carried social stigmatization. Those accused of adultery were often branded as immoral and dishonorable, which could have devastating effects on their reputation and personal relationships. 12. Effect on Literature and Art The theme of adultery was a recurring theme in medieval literature and art. Many stories, songs, and works of art depicted the tragic consequences of adultery as a moral warning to society. These representations contributed to the perception of adultery as a condemnable act. 13. Changes in Perception Over Time As society moved into the modern age, attitudes toward adultery began to change. The focus on social control and rigorous moral standards began to wane, and there was a greater separation between personal matters and legal issues. This marked the beginning of a transition to contemporary perspectives on relationships and marriage. 14. Impact on Family Relationships Punishment for adultery not only affected the offenders, but also had an impact on family relationships. Adultery could trigger divorce, separation, and the dissolution of families. Children born out of wedlock could also face discrimination and social difficulties due to the stigma associated with adultery. 15. Control of Female Sexuality Punishment for adultery was also related to the control of female sexuality. Medieval society considered that women should be chaste and pure, and adultery was seen as a threat to property and inheritance. Punishments sought to maintain control over women's sexuality and prevent any deviation from established norms.